Quackadoodle do. What is up, fellow birds of the spiral? It is your friend and pal, Fearsome, here with the continuation of the Companion Guide series, where in this particular episode, I will be discussing the companion Chantel Livingston, who all Muscadoos can get from their class trainer, and who many say is the best companion in the entire game. And for my part, I am also inclined to think that. So let us go ahead and talk about her. So there's only one uh, setup that I would recommend, and I will get into that in more detail in just a minute. But first, let's go ahead and look at some of the powers and other perks she has to define her as a companion. Now, first, she has a uh, sniper shot. She has two, and what that basically is, is it's a super hit that is uh, infinite range. Um, so it's great for, sh for securing kills. It's great for um, comboing to get kills and stuff like that. Um, just an overall very useful uh, power. And if you are within um, five range, uh, then she can also hit. Um, she can basically hit her double taps and her uh, burst fires off of this uh, particular card as well. So she also does have super strike, which uh, does the same thing, except it doesn't have infinite range. And lastly, she has this Cloud Spirit here, which increases agility for agility-based units by 75% for five turns. Really nice to have. And of course, you know what agility does for those units. It increases their critical chance, and it also increases the amount of damage they do. So, super useful card. Uh, she does a pirate, but that's more of something that's used in PvE. I mean, you're not going to be stressing about getting this companion downfield in a PvP match. And the extra accuracy is not all that important for Chantel Livingston. So, now that we discussed that, let's have a look at a setup that I like to use. And it'll be the only setup that I'll discuss in this video. However, if you think that there is another viable setup that you want me to test out and possibly make a guide for um, next time I do this, uh, please let me know down below in the description and I'll be sure to run some tests on whatever setup that you have. But this by far is the most successful way to set up your uh, Shanta Livingston. So that's what I'll share with you today. All right, so the setup is Burst Fire Rank 2, Quick Adjust Rank 1, Double Tap uh, Rank 2, and Burst Fire Rank 2. So it's Overwatch rate 2, Quick Adjust, Double Tap 2, and Burst Fire 2. Okay, now, really quick, why do we not have Overwatch 3? Well, because you should ideally have that on your Musketeer, and your Musketeer is much more likely to hit. So, it's better to have your Overwatch 3 on your own, on your Musketeer Pirate. So, uh, and since she's a Musketeer-only companion, it really makes no sense to have Overwatch 3 on her. Why quick adjust? Well, because Chantel Livingston's chains can be interrupted because she misses once, um, which you know isn't you know hugely likely or anything. But um, it's great to have that kind of as chain insurance. And um, lastly, why doesn't she have double tap three? Well, because double tap three, despite maybe increasing your critical a little bit or something like that which I haven't seen any substantial evidence for it doing that. Um, besides that, it also does uh, swap out the accuracy to dodge ratio for the agility ratio uh, as far as hitting a double tap. And most companions in the game who are used in 3v3s are musketeers, and the ones who aren't are usually swashbucklers and buccaneers, so since they have a decent amount of agility, you would rather have your superior accuracy uh, working for you. You'd rather have that juicy 154 accuracy working on your side. So that's why you do not want to put double tap three on your Chantel Livingston. And as for burst fire uh, three, you don't want burst fire three either because it doesn't really work. On paper, it would increase the um, chance of triggering 70 by 70%, well, by 35%, making it basically 70% chance of triggering. It doesn't do that, okay? And Burst Fire 2 gives you the full three chains anyway, so basically Burst Fire 2 is good. Um, 
burst through R3 it doesn't really affect her at all. So that's some logic behind why I stood her up the way I did. So to recap, Aurora Watch 2, Quick Adjust 1, Double Tap 2, and Burst for R2. So now we've covered her setup. Let's go ahead and talk about the talents that she has or how I would set the talents. Okay, so she's not really as much of a counter musketeer unit. Um, and she's pretty much useful for it. the immediate damage she uh, puts out sniping uh, melee units from a distance, preferably. And of course, the overwatch damage she does when uh, they charge as well. So that being said, I have set her talents with that in mind. And I've given her accurate four, agility four, rough four, tough four, and a dodgy. Um, so those are her talents. And that is everything about Chantel Livingston. I plan to cover either Emmett or Exeter in my next uh, companion overview. A lot of you guys have been buying Emmett, or I should say Exeter, on all of your pirates. So I think that he may be a little more applicable. And you guys will gain uh, more from seeing a setup for him. Or two, or three, depending on the situations that you use him in. So, until then, it has been your friend and pal, Fearsome, with yet another Pirate 101 video, because goodness knows, I love this game. Hey, if you like what you see, you can make your own awesome videos with a drag and drop editor called Filmora9, who I am actually affiliated with. Um, so if you want to go ahead and check that out, their program is free. There is a premium version, which is also really nice and what I myself has been using for many years. But if you would like to see what a brand new YouTuber has made with Filmora9, um, absolutely free. The first time he used it, I will go ahead and post a five minute video that I really enjoyed myself in the link below in the description. So be sure to check out um, Formora and be sure to check out his YouTube channel because he's also an awesome Pirate 101 YouTuber and we all love to support the community. So yeah, I will see you guys around. Welcome to a new line of merch that I will have every six months. All the proceeds will go towards the Spiral Cup of 2021, so if you would like to support that event, this is a great way to do so while getting your hands on some exclusive merch. And by exclusive, I mean I will only sell 10 of each item with um, that particular logo on it. So I plan on having another one made, so if you have any suggestions for what that might look like, um, be sure to let me know in the description down below. I'm thinking uh, in the next six months, I want to have one called If You Want to Get Pets, I Get It From a Duck, and it'll show a, pet, a duck uh, petting a pirate, a rubber duck this time. Um, so let me know if that excites you or if you have any other ideas for merch, and I will try and have some made in the next six months. All right. <laughs> Thank you.